Okay, so I'm going to click on download. I'll provide this link in the description. I'm using Windows, so I'll use this one. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit the setup. Now click next, install, and I want a desktop shortcut, and I also want add open folders project, add bin folder to the path, and I need the solution. That's it. Let's hit next. I go for install. Okay, once the installation is done, you can run the JetBrains Rider. And let's agree to this. And I do not want to send any stats. For now, I'm going to cancel it. And I'm going to use the configuration from Visual Studio 2022. I'm going to stick to my light theme and I'm going to go next. And I'm going to open this project. Okay, so I have my project. Yeah, so it may take a minute or two to do this or complete this. Okay, once it is done, you can go to your project folder and start your project. And once your project is open, you can go to editor preferences. And here we have source code option in the left. And we are going to use the rider for Unreal project. Do not use the rider. It would be the standard one for normal purposes. We want to use it for Unreal project. So select this one. Now, once you do that, you can hit on restart and you can close this uh, window that you have just opened. Now, once your game is open in Unreal, you can go to tools and click on tools, refresh rider U project. Okay. Now we have already done the heavy lifting, so it will happen fast. And now we can click on tools, open Rider U project. And it will ask you whether you trust it or not. So trust and open. And now we need to install one plugin that is recommended here. I don't know if you were able to see that. So for this, what we'll do, I'll close my Unreal project right here. I'll close this. Okay, once it is closed, you can go to settings. Under this languages and frameworks, you will find Unreal Engine and we will install it for the engine so that no matter what game or project we build, it is available for all. We do not just want it for one game. So I'll install it for the engine and it will do all the compilation. So let's quickly finish this up. Okay, so for those of you who do not have Visual Studio installed or people who just uninstall the Visual Studio completely, you are going to lose the build tools. So either you don't do that, and if you have done, then you follow this step. So I just uninstalled the Visual Studio and now I need the build tools. So you can go to this website, the link is in description, and right now it's showing me 2026. But Unreal Engine does not support more than 2022 right now. So we have to go and click under the tools for Visual Studio and do not download this 2026. We have to find the 2022, which is the 17.14 version. Now here we have to access the build tools. So you can click on it, continue. And the link of this documentation is in the description. You can check this out. So I'm going to enable these three, .NET, multi-platform desktop build and desktop development with C++. Okay, so I'm going to click on install while downloading and install. And don't worry if you forget to install something, you can always come back to this installer and install whatever you missed. Okay, so once you guys have installed the Visual Studio build tools, I want you to open your project again. And if you guys are watching my series and we were using Unreal build tool, now here you will not select Unreal build tool you will select your project name, okay? So select the project name and this will change. It will not use the Unreal Build tool to build your project. So once you select your project here, you can click on this play button and it will build your project and it will launch it. So you can see it has started building up my project and it will be launched in no time. All right, so it is working now. And now you can open your first third person game. And for example, you can go to smart object, trade request, and you can see Rider link has enabled this one blueprint uses some suggestions. Okay. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Do let me know if you have any queries or difficulties in installing the Rider. And if you are new to my channel, please like, and subscribe and leave the comment down below. 
And if you haven't seen the Master Unreal series, I highly recommend you check that out. And for those of you who are watching my series, in the next episode, we are going to work on our movement component and we are going to rebuild it in C++. So I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.